Hey everybody, my name is Lucas and I can teach you how to get more productive by getting more out of the digital tools that you use every day. One of the tools we all use every day is a web browser. That is why in this video I'm going to cover my favorite web browser extensions for Chrome to get more productive. I actually use Brave, which is an alternative web browser, but it supports all of the Chrome extensions that you'll see in this video. Let's get started. So now I've got my browser in front of me here, and the first extension is the one that we see on the left-hand side of the extension bar right here. And as you might have been able to tell by the thumbnail, it's an email inbox checker and notification tool. This one is related to Gmail, and it's called Checker Plus for Gmail. What I like about this is it is super lightweight and minimal. As you can see, I can click and it just shows up super quickly. This is an email I received and it's actually a notification that one of my WordPress websites was updated. Well, that's great news. And I can open the email from here, read it. I could even respond to it if I want to from here, but I can also process it quite easily through archiving it, deleting it, uh, marking it unread if I want to read it later again, of course, keep it in the inbox for a while, moving it or adding it to my Google Calendar. So a very lightweight tool that I can really recommend for easy processing of your email. And it also supports multiple email accounts at the same time. So if you have two or three of them, then they would be separated all within this pop-up field here. You can scroll within it. Really recommend it. I've used it for years and it's never failed me. The second extension has to do with speed and security at the same time. Security because it's about passwords. We all need them in our digital world and we need a lot of them if we want to stay secure. If we just have one password that we manually type for every single account we have, then just getting hacked once anywhere means you're exposed everywhere. On the other hand, having a different password while more secure for every single service is difficult, if not impossible, to remember, let alone type manually every single time you're trying to log in, right? So the solution for that is actually a password generator and storage, which is something that a tool like Bitwarden can do for you, which is my password manager of choice. For one, it can easily generate passwords that are safe, but also link them to a website automatically if you're visiting it. Now, very important, Distinction here to make is that I do not use the autofill option when I'm in a public place where my screen, my laptop might be exposed. But if I'm at a safe location such as home, there's no risk for me in using it and in demonstrating it as I will do now. So for example, here we have LinkedIn and we're at the login screen. Now I could manually type everything here. Instead though, all I have to do is click on the Bitwarden icon here, select my login, and there we go, it's automatically filled out and I could log in right away. It has more options than that. It can even store payment information. So if you want to store a card for online purchases, it can autofill that as well. Again, more important reason even to not have it publicly visible if you're at an exposed location like an airport or something, but it can really save you a lot of time because this is something you do every day, right? So a real time saver, a free software that is Great to use. The third extension has to do with productivity quite indirectly in that it doesn't maybe directly save you time like the other ones do or make something easier processing. More so, it kind of enables you to work at your screen for longer in a more sustainable way. Because what we have in front of us here, we're still on the LinkedIn screen that we were before, is, a, is an example of a very bright screen, right? It's a white background and that's the default. And that's just something that you have with a lot of websites or pieces of software that you might use. Now for websites, more and more websites have introduced their own dark mode, which is great because dark modes can really ease the strain on your eyes. However, not all of them do, and this is an example, but there's a solution and it's called Dark Reader. So this extension is free as well, and it can magically almost turn any website into a dark mode alternative while keeping it readable. So I just turn it on here for LinkedIn and you can see I can still read everything. It's perfectly usable, but now it's less of a strain on the eye, which is awesome to see. 
The next extension that saves me a lot of time throughout the day is an ad blocker. And it's not just any ad blocker. I think many of you might already have one, might be aware of what it does and how it works. My ad blocker of choice is Ghostery. And it has been my tool of choice for a couple of years now because I found it to be very user friendly and easy to adapt on a site level. So if I want to block advertisements or trackers on websites that I don't trust, I can easily do that. I can have it turned on by default. I can also go the other way around and turn ad blocking and tracking and everything off and instead restrict the site that I'm on right now. So it's very flexible in that way. And it's also a great way to turn it off. For example, if you're watching your favorite creator on YouTube and you want to support them with ad revenue, wink, wink. So use an ad blocker, use Ghostery. It's my recommended tool. I'm not sponsored to say this. I've just been using them for years and it will save you a lot of time to block out annoying ads that make websites load more slowly or have you wait on videos that you want to watch but use it consciously. All right, and the last extension that we're gonna look at today has to do with a tool that we've reviewed on this channel previously, and it's my tool of choice for managing my tasks and projects, and it is the Todoist extension for Chrome, or Brave in this case. It can live in the bar alongside the other extensions that we've already taken a look at, and it's great to actually save any page that you might be visiting on the internet. And here's how it works. I just clicked it and opened it. What you can do is select add website as task. So here I'm on my favorite YouTube channel and I can save it here to maybe take a look at later, add it to my watch list. I can already process it if I want to, but if I don't do anything, it's gonna live there like this as the title and linking to this URL and then I can process it later on because by default it's just stored in the inbox, which is where you probably want it to be most of the time. All right, that concludes this video, which covers my five favorite web browser extensions. As I said at the beginning though, there are thousands more to review and I actually use a couple others as well. So if you're interested in that, if you wanna see me review more of these, make sure you leave a like on the video so I know that you're interested. And if you have any suggestions for other specific web browser extensions that I should take a look at that might boost your productivity, leave a comment and I will happily consider it and review it in a next video. So thank you for watching. Try these out on your browser and let me know how it goes.